Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your illustrious host. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. let's talk about this. You know, there's few stories that really get to me. Um, well, they I guess they kick in my uh, PTSD or my thought process or my experiences as a child um, in a grown folks environment without the proper supervision. And um, when I see stories like this, of course, you know, it triggers something for me and the other thousands of kids right now whose families are allowing them to be managed by pedophiles and um, let me make sure I got enough time on here. Huh. Uh, you know, things of that nature. So when I'm looking at this story, and I'm going to kick these stories out for you today. I've been away for a while. I feel a lot better, so I want to make sure I get it in. I want to at least get about five of these videos in, family. And I want y'all to uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm there. Um, also, on TikTok. Y'all, come on. Let's, and, and Patreon. Uh, for a, a join fee of $5, you will be getting exclusive content. Content that I definitely Definitely, definitely, it don't make the cut <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> so we have to have that special uh, space where we share the information. Also, I, uh, is this the, the channel that I go live on? So with that being said, y'all, let me um uh, uh, get to this story because this is an exclusive and, and, and it's real important that y'all uh, check this out. And I'm sure a lot of y'all say, oh, well, who gives a damn and who, you know. But in this day and age, it's important uh, to keep addressing and opening up the doors that have been closed and shut for so long. And people had to have suffered a residue of um, being abused, mistreated, and whatnot. So in this particular story right here, um, you know, Ricky Martin, I guess he was out spotted in a tuxedo suspenders and he was on the set of a, a Mr. and Mrs. American Pie. Um, but, and this was after ex bandmates from Manu who revealed horrific abuse and rape, they say, that their former manager inflicted on them. Now, Ricky has not yet made any comments. Uh, about y'all know Ricky was a member of um, Manudu, uh, and 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 um, he hasn't yet to make a comment. Anyway, um, you know it, it, his former bandmates from Manudo detailed the alleged abuse and rape they suffered at the hands of their former manager. So the you know the fifty year old he was you know picture wearing suspenders as he scrolled across. The show set alongside his co-stars. Uh, he flashed a peace sign before hopping into an SUV, driving away. Of course, because he doesn't want to deal with the allegation or even answer any questions about it. Uh, it is still early in his productions, having only uh, been undertaken by Apple TV Plus since February. And I guess that's this new um, series that he's going to be on. But it's going to be an issue because there is a documentary called Manudu Forever Young. You know, Martin, who was 12 when he joined the band, has again, has not made any public comment about the documentary. Uh, in this documentary, uh, the young men talk about 
uh, the former member Angelo Garcia, who joined in 1988 when he was just 11, and uh, left two years later, claimed that the band manager Eduardo Diaz allowed him to be raped in a series of times during his time in the band by predators who would take advantage of him. He said the first time it happened was in his hotel room at an undisclosed uh, location. Uh, who gave the then 11-year-old alcohol until he passed out? When I woke up, I was naked and I was bleeding, so I knew what I had been penetrated, Garcia said in the documentary per New York Post. I had like these burn marks on my face from the rug. I was very confused and I didn't understand. Other members of the group also claimed in the documentary that they faced sexual abuse um, during their time with Manudu, as well as drug use, negligence, exploitation, and bullying from other members. All under Diaz's watchful eye. Ricky Martin don't want to talk about it. Of course, right now he's in straight denial, um, which a lot is what happens a lot when you just suffer this type of abuse. But somebody going to let the cat out the bag. And it's up to you to stand 10 toes down, take your position, and uh, definitely not not uh, try to, you tell your truth, how you tell your truth, but you definitely don't put yourself in a position where you are defending a, a predator. So arguably, Manu's most famous member is Ricky Martin, who joined the group in 1984 when he was 13 and left five years later. And it's been said that the living of Vida Loca hit maker time in Manudo was what helped launch his major career. Ray Acevedo, who was with Manudu from 1985 to 1988, claimed that Martin was the golden kid from the beginning, and it was he who made it known to other members. Band member signed Sergio Blas reiterated Acevedo's claims. To be with Ricky was brutal because he had seniority over me. So if someone knocked on the door, I had to open it, Blast recall. If the phone rang, I had to pick it up. I was like his housewife. Acevedo remembered brutal hazing by other members, including one who he did not name, who once held him over the ledge of a balcony. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. This manager, Eduardo Diaz, um... This picture with the band, Ricky Martin can be seen on the far right. <laughs> um, it's interesting how, um, you know, it's time to pay the piper. It's time to deal with this. Over the years, the band saw a slew of members come and go, and they had more than 30 different people in it throughout its time. But according to uh, Doc, Diaz had the fountain of youth strategy for Menudo, which meant if any of the members got too old, they were replaced often by the age of 16, which allowed the band to continue its success and stay profitable for many years. Numerous men who used to be in the band allegedly that they would often had no supervision or security, and they were exposed to drugs like marijuana, cocaine by various producers and promoters. And I'm, I'm going to second that emotion. I'm going to second that fact. One time, uh, once we were in Colombia, and I'm with fellow Manudo band member, Ruben Gobans, and we were getting to the hotel, former member Blast said in the documentary. We all enter the room. All of a sudden, this random guy comes in. He pulls out what must have been a kilo of cocaine. We freaked out because we did not know this person. But the guy was actually one of the producers and promoters. As it turned out, this isn't the first time that members have spoken about alleged abuse. Many of the members accused Diaz of exposing them to sexual assault back in 1991. And they have continued to make this claim during live TV show appearances and in other interviews throughout the years. And um, 
Diaz, who refused to take part in the documentary, has continuously denied allegations. Well, the only thing can uh, uh, put the rest of that is for him to take a lie detector test. Uh, is for him to uh, face his accusers because otherwise he's just as uh, this is, uh, I don't think there's no statute of limitations on this kind of rape. And it shouldn't be. I want to know what y'all think about that. What y'all think about the members of um, you know, the members of uh, Manu being molested and raped by that former manager. And what y'all think about Ricky Martin? And is his silence loud? And him act, um, ignoring the accusations made against this guy. And um, are you going to watch the documentary that's called Forever Young? Hmm. You heard one of these stories, you heard them all. Anyway, if you like what you hear, subscribe to the channel. Like the channel and share. I'll see you in the next video.